So in their last vlog, you saw the complete renovation of the Salle de Thé, the tea room on the ground floor. At the same time that we was renovating the tea room, we was also starting the Jean-Pierre suite, which is going to be the apartment on the first floor of the chateau. Now this is what it looked like when we first saw it. Lots of cobwebs, very dark and dingy. And like a lot of properties in France, when you buy it, you actually buy everything in it. So Ted's first job was to make a shoot so that we could clear the room and save going up and down the spiral staircase. Leaving me to do the clearing, Ted had to then think about how we was going to get water and electricity into the chateau from the mains up at the top end of the barn. So trenches were dug. And finally, after a lot of begging, eventually I was allowed behind the wheel. So with the first fix of electricity and mains water supply into the house, it was time to start demolishing some walls. First delivery arrives from the local builders merchant. All of their plasterboard and timbers to build their stud walling. Now as you all know, both me and Ted have never done this before, so we didn't have a clue how to put stud walling up. But we were very lucky to find Paul a drywaller who was willing to come round and show me and Ted how to do it. We can't thank Paul enough. Without all the skills he taught us, we would never have finished this project in the budget we had. So with all the stud walling up, it was then time for the insulation and the plasterboard. Now the reason why we plasterboarded this room is because all of the mains electric and water starts for the whole of the chateau in this room. It was a way of us hiding it all.
273. 273, then cut that into threes, and then put the holes Just because, I'll tell you now, just because Andy said, oh, you won't have a water tank on. Mr. Martin, water tank on. <laughs> it was then time for our next lesson from Paul, and that was the tape and jointing of the plasterboard walls.
Jean-Pierre suite was finally coming together. It was actually looking like proper rooms now. So with all the plasterboard in tape and jointed and miscoated, it was now time to put a bit of colour on those walls. So whilst I'm busy learning my new skills, so is Ted. There's a lot of woodwork to do. There's making all the skirting boards, the door frames, the architraves, the doors themselves, the wardrobes. Everything in this property is going to be made by Ted out of all the wood that we can find in the barn so that it costs us nothing. However, he's never done it before. So it's a big learning curve and I have to say, I think he's pretty good at it. So that, that will go on the bottom there. And then these will go, these side rails will go on there, like that. And then, bear with me, little side thing. My uh, old boss of mine used to, uh, when I worked for him, uh, and I answered the phone. I used to answer the phone, and uh, he said, he'd say to me, lad, I need to know so-and-so, so-and-so. And I said, okay, uh, Jeff, bear with me. Oh, I love it when you say that. <laughs> he used to crack me up. Love it when you say that. You want to give us an update, baby, on what you've been doing in the bedroom? Well, it's coming along in here now, so it's quite nice. So the doors are on. The skeleton board is all on and painted. The architrave is on there. The architrave is on here, but not painted because I had to put it on obviously after I put the door in because the hinges are on this side. Um, <clears throat> again, because of the nature of the beast, you should really put the architrave on before you put the skirt on. But we do everything ask about face though. We don't conform. I love the uh, the barn door looks great, baby. That's the only yeah. second one I've ever made. But because it walks quite badly, um, again, my fault, I think I have clamped it, which gave it a kick. Um, but it works, and it works really well, actually. Well, it, it, it does what it does at the moment. Um, oh, yeah, it looks good. I like the... Um... Handles. I like the decorative bits yeah, at the top. The rails are the bit. The handle was a very good choice. I like the handle. Yeah, I do. It'd be nice if we could find some little ones for the wardrobes and all that. Yeah. But I doubt, you know, I don't know if we can find anything similar because I really like those. Um, yeah, the rail up and the as I say, probably wasn't as substantial as the other, but it's certainly gone on there and it's certainly staying up there, which is nice. Oh, hello. How did you get up here? Because the door's open. Um, no, it's looking good, baby. So all the yeah. skirting's painted now. Walls yeah, have all had all their done. final coat. Yeah, it's all painted. The, uh, the little area here, uh, because it's so 
out of whack. I'm probably just going to put some shelves in it uh, or a shelf in it and a door on it so you can, you know, put some. It's really nice and deep. So, you know, there is a thought of maybe, maybe putting a nice big basket in there so you can pull the basket out. Awesome, George. You want to get in there, do you, handsome boy? Oh, look at it. Look, the kids are up. So the window board is done again because uh, obviously that, that moved and everything like that. So that's all redone. And what I have been doing the last day or so is putting these the bits either side of the bed, which I'm pleased with, I have to say. Um, so we we wanted a curve on there, so we put that curve on there. So what we wanted to do is mimic this curve here. Um, and so we've done that with this one here. So they, they sort of, the curves from either side, sorry I keep moving about, but are the same either side. Obviously this is extended out because we wanted to make it into a vanity. And it's this side of the bed because this is obviously, um, this is where the, the old chimney brush was. So it gave us the room to put all this in here. Um, it made life easier because the ballon is all down that end because that's where the bathroom is and everything like that. And plus the fact, this is Lisa sleeps this side of the bed. <laughs> but we're not sleeping in this room. But that's the thing. So, you know, but everything is obviously got a run so it fits in with... Lisa. ...with, with, with <laughs> somebody. So the bedroom in the Jean-Pierre suite was really coming along now. There was one thing missing, the bed. It was time for a planning meeting. Right, so there's two posts, yeah? Yeah. And you want you don't want anything fancy at the headboard because you're no, going to cover the headboard. I'm going to cover the headboard. So the headboard, how big do you want the headboard? You know, 40 high, so 40 centimetres high. So that's about that. So if you're sitting in bed. That high. And then you've got a mattress on top of that, which is makes it 58, which is makes it near and near damn it, 60. So where's high. my bum to my head? What, now? Yeah. If how, I was sitting in bed. That's how high you want it. That's so where if I you want said, the mattress. So if this is about 40, so 40. Like a foam, so it's going to be foamy. So you want it. So that's going to be completely covered. So if I do that in 18 mil plywood. Yeah. On this side. On the external sides. On the external sides, it's going to be covered in fabric, but on the inside, you won't see the inside anyway because so, there's going to be rails where the. So, fabric how wide fabric. do you want that? Just wide enough so I can put my nail gun in it. No, I mean, how wide do you say, so, you know, do you want it that wide or do you want it that wide? Oh, what, it, you mean? Depth. Depth. Sorry. Yeah, depth. I want it about that. So, you want it about 250 mil. So, that's, that's going What's to be. What's that? Measure that. <laughs> 250 mil. Yeah. So that deep. So with the planning meeting over, Ted popped over to the piggeries to see if he could source the wood. And whilst he was making the frame, I was busy making the headboard and the footboard. Now we only have six days to get this bed made because we've had a phone call from my father to say he's going to be popping in and giving a surprise visit. And there's not enough room in the tent for four of us. Um, I've been called up to our old home barn, let's put it that way, uh, because Lisa's got an idea that she wants to 
um, run past me, let's put it that way. Okay, Good so. Good light. The, this um, dresser was given to us by Noel and Bernadette down the road, they're lovely French neighbours. Um, and I think it's it's beautiful, it's very ornate. So this is the bottom part, we've then got over here, a shelving part that goes in it. Yeah, I see that, quick shot of that. Yeah. There are the drawers for it, and then this is the top part. So it's quite quite a big piece. It's enormous, really. I think it's about 2.3 metres high, so nearly eight feet high. My idea is, I love this piece, and we've been thinking, where on earth are we going to be able to use it? So, bear with me on this, baby. In apartment two, upstairs, where we want the kitchenette, yeah? Right. Uh -huh. I was thinking, instead of you building a kitchenette, if we had this there, right. can you sink this sink into this? This drawer obviously won't be able to be used, but you could have it as an artificial front. Right. And still use this one. Sink this into it and have the tap in there, right? Now, I know you're gonna say some things, my first idea was then to have the burner, the two ring burner in here. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Right. No, that's um, it's uh, you know, I like the idea of it. Yeah, it's logistics. And it's not the smallest bit of furniture, and we've got a very small staircase. So that would be my issue, is trying to put that, that's, he's trying to put that in the room. I think it's a really nice idea. Do these doors all open? Have you tried, oh, they do. Oh, yeah. Wow, look, that's huge. Yeah, they are. That's huge, because then. Yeah, so you, show, show people in there, yeah. <laughs> I will, I'll, I'll put a picture of Yeah, that. that's the thing. That's huge, isn't it? We could put all, I'm so excited now, because we could put all the all the crockery in here, all the bowls Everything we need in to the be top in. here, you could put all the glassware. Well, and where are you stuff. thinking of having the top? On top of it. Top of it, over the top, yeah? yeah? Still over the top. Yeah. Right. So being a typical Gemini, can't wait for anything. Within no time, we had the dresser up the stairs. And after a paint job, a bit of distressing and a bit of gilding, the dresser was in place and looking stunning. That's in there. Hold on. Let me just get the torch. It's all right. Way. I think my father might.
might be here. <laughs> because of COVID, we haven't seen any of our family and friends since moving to France. So today's a big occasion. How you doing? <laughs> Are your legs still working? <laughs> so, let's take you upstairs. Make sure you duck your head every time you go through a doorway. So after 18 months of a lot of hard work, the Jean-Pierre suite, our first apartment, was ready for its first set of guests. My father. This is your bedroom. Oh, look at this, shining desk. A view. Oh, wow. Isn't it lovely? Hard work, but... I like all the original features. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Lovely. Yeah. To the future. Mm. Indeed. To the future. Uh, onward and upward, as I say. So this is a huge turning point for us. Our budget is dwindling very, very quickly. With the Jean-Pierre suite online, ready for guests, and the tea room running as a restaurant. Yes, we won't be millionaires, but it will certainly keep the wall from the door and allow us to continue the project that we've started. If you've enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to see all of our future videos. Our budget doesn't run to probably the money we need to put into this, and we're probably talking about half a million to bring it back. To everything done, being everything being finished, we're talking about half a million. And we've got 80,000. <laughs> if you, like us, feel that this 700-year-old piece of world history deserves preservation for generations to come, please check out a Patreon page, where you get a chance to have Zoom chats with myself and Ted, see behind-the-scenes videos, receive discounts on stays here at Chateau de Montmagne or within the restaurant, and access to a patron-only Facebook page, where you get live videos, up-to-date information, and get to chat to the other patrons. So join us again next time for even more blood, sweat and tears. Keeping it real, baby. Keeping it real. <laughs>